Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. I hope you're having a fine day this morning. Yes, but today, guys, I stopped in. I want to share. I received a gift from a beautiful young lady here on YouTube. Yes. So I want to thank Danny, and I want to share it with you all. Also, I want to share my LSU Go Harvest I did this morning. Yes, I did a harvest this morning of my LSU Go Figs. Yes, but first, if you are not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. <laughs> I will be sharing my Zone 9 Garden. Yay! Yay! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> family. This is Linda. I hope you're having a beautiful day. I hope all is well. Listen guys, I stopped in because I wanted to share with you all my first harvest of my LSU gold figs. Well, this is my first harvest that I'm going to bring inside, right? But I have been enjoying these uh, figs all spring long. Yeah, I've been enjoying them. They are delicious. But I'm going to harvest some today <clears throat> because I have a dinner date tonight. So, yeah, I'm going to uh, do something special with them tonight and uh, I want to bring them in. And to my surprise, I have so many that is ripe and ready. So let's harvest some of these beautiful figs. So I've been getting a lot of questions and emails about what am I feeding my fig trees? So I do have five fig trees. I have um, two brown turkeys from cuttings. I have my beautiful Airlay, Miss Fiona, who have been the most productive fig tree in my, in my garden. I have an LSU purple, and this is my LSU gold. Now listen guys, all of these trees have been playing a huge part of me just enjoying figs uh, this spring and summer. My two brown turkeys are sitting out on the other side of my yard, and they are very productive. And my refrigerator is full of Fiona's figs. She have been the most productive fig tree in my garden. The least productive fig tree is my LSU purple. Now I have been eating figs from her, but she is not that productive, right? But getting back to what fertilizer I'm using uh, that most people have been asking me, and if you've been a part of my channel, then you know yeah, you already know that I use 511 and Super Juice. Now, when my fruit trees are fruiting, I fertilize them every 10 days with 511 and Super Juice. Every 10 days, everyone gets that fertilizer, 511 and Super Juice. And when they're not fruiting, I only give them fertilizers once a month. Yes. Now, I never give them any granulated fertilizers. I don't. I don't give them any of that. Only the 511. But then, seriously, that's everything in my garden. Everything that grows in my Zone 9 garden gets 511 and Super Juice. And I eat from my garden every day. Uh, family, I'm good. Everything is alive and well and fruiting as it is supposed to. But um, I just enjoyed this harvest this morning. This was the first harvest that I'm bringing them inside. So I'm very excited about that. And the LSU um, fruits, they are so big and so healthy. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't use nothing else but 511. 
that's my thing. So I just wanted to share with you all my harvest this morning. So I'm going to have a dinner date tonight and I know they're going to be a hit. Let's go inside and check them out. Though. That is my harvest of my LSU gold figs this morning. Yeah, and it is a blessing. It is a blessing to be able to go out to your garden and harvest something that looks, smells, and tastes like this. It's like um, a honey jam that's playing in your mouth. It's just amazing stuff. If you have never grown an LSU go fig and you can grow it in your zone, yeah, try it for yourself. Yeah, I love, love these um, uh, these figs. Now, I have grown up on figs, yes, but this is my first um, LSU go fig tree, right? But I absolutely love it and I will be air laying this baby for more yes I will I will but um, anyway guys I wanted to just share what I have been blessed with this morning pure joy pure joy it is amazing Yes, and of course, you all know, if you've been a part of my channel for a while, then you know that, um, yes, my fertilizer I use for all things that grows is 511 in Super Juice. It just works. That's all. It just works. Yeah. And I know it's going to be a hit at dinner tonight <laughs> so this is after my harvest um, and this is just to share with you how many more uh, figs I have on this tree so I have a yeah I have much more harvests to do so yeah she still have many many figs on her Look at that fat mama. She getting there. She gonna be one of the ones next. <laughs> yeah. And that one and that one. Oh yeah. Oh wait, here's another one over here. Can you see her at the Oh yeah. Yeah. Now my refrigerator is full of this girl. This is Fiona y'all. Fiona have been the most uh, uh, just giving tree this whole season. And she still have more figs. But Fiona start to give out her figs early in the season. Uh, and she still have more. But she have slowed down. Uh, I think I had... Uh, oh, right. Here she go, right here. There's another one. Almost ready. Almost ready. <laughs> yeah. And the one that have been the least amount of figs is this one. And this is my LSU purple. Even though I have eaten some of her, her, her fruits also. Uh, but she has given the least amount of figs. Fiona is number one. You're number one, baby. Yeah. And seriously, the LSU go is number two. She, yeah. She's a close two. A close two. But definitely, uh, my LSU go has produced the biggest figs. The biggest has been this baby. Yeah. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to share... Uh, my next harvest, so yeah, I'll bring y'all to show. Yeah, you see my next harvest. <laughs> All right, guys. Boom.
All right, guys, there she is. There it is. Let's see, can I make it? Make the light come on there so you can see it. There you go. There it is. Awesome. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. So, we are going to bake, okay, it's on bake, we want it at 375, put it right there, <laughs> sorry about that, I'm going to put it right there, and we want to cook it for 15 minutes, and there she goes, there she rumbles. Mm-hmm. 